What's up everybody, this is Rafi from Zurb, and in this video we're going to go through the sticky component in Foundation. So if you want to create a sticky component, something that stays stuck to the top of the page as the user scrolls down the page, sort of like our sidebar here, this is actually using the Foundation sticky component, uh, then we could definitely create this using Foundation. So let's take a look at how this is created in an actual example. So we'll hop over to this example and you can see that when we scroll down the page that the menu stays stuck at the top. And that could be very desirable, especially if you have a long page that is scrolling so people can still navigate quickly and easily right at the top. Now if your navigation is too tall and taking up too much space, that's something that you know can be adjusted or maybe um, Sticky is not the right option. So let's take a look at the code. We have data-sticky-container. So this is a wrapper that goes around the element that is going to be sticky. So this container uh, allows the JavaScript to calculate the height of the element. In this case, that would be this top bar here. So data-sticky-container wraps the whole thing. Next, we have a div with data-sticky. So this is another element that is wrapping the top bar, or you can add these elements directly to the top bar. It works either way. Um, but we have it wrapped around here, and we could set data attributes to this. So this is the actual sticky element um, where we could adjust using JavaScript to uh, set different things, which I'll show you here in a moment. But this is the basic setup if you want something stuck to the top of the page no matter what. So this is the first element on the page. As you can see, there's nothing above this component. Um, so as we scroll down the page, it is stuck to the top of the page. Now, sometimes you'll need uh, to have elements that go above the sticky component and have it only be stuck or sticky when it actually hits the top of the viewport, um, which I'll show you here in a moment. But this is the basic setup. So we have a wrapper with data-sticky-container, and then I have another wrapper here, data-sticky. Um, this is the actual sticky component, and again, this is what you attach all the JavaScript data attributes that you can use. So now what if we wanted to anchor this to something else? Uh, so we wanted to have content above this. So I'm going to show you that example right now. Alrighty, so now we have a header above our navigation. And this navigation is supposed to be sticky. So as you can see right now, we don't have this completely configured. The header is above the sticky container. Um, but there's some more um, data attributes that we can add here to get this to anchor properly. Right now, it still thinks that it's going to stick when the page starts to scroll. Uh, so if we want to change that behavior, we could definitely do that. So we have a header here with an ID of header. So that's great. We're already set up to do this correctly. So now we're going to add some JavaScript data attributes to uh, get this to anchor where we want. So we're going to add some of these. If you want to find out where the data attributes are, we'll go to the JavaScript reference on the documentation here. Go to the plugin options, and we could find some of these data attributes. So data-top anchor is the one that we're looking for. So data-top-anchor, and we could set an argument in here. So data-top-anchor, we want to set this to the ID of header, but we want it to be at the bottom of header. So if we set that up, and now we're going to actually have that start being sticky when it reaches the bottom of header. So this is how you can use the JavaScript data attributes to anchor the sticky component to something else. And this is really powerful. So we have data-top anchor. 
So we're saying that the top place where this thing anchors is on the ID of header. And then we're saying anchor to the bottom of header. So that way it actually knows to start in the right place instead of at the top of header, which in this case would be the top of the page. So you can really um, get this sticky uh, behavior to uh, be contained in a smaller space if you need it to be. We can also set a data dash bottom anchor. And the data dash bottom anchor can be set to, uh, let's say this content ID that we have on this page. So if we scroll down here, we have an ID of content and we could say colon bottom. So what this does is it helps you set a bottom anchor so the sticky won't continue being sticky past that point. Um, another common one is to put an ID of your footer on your footer of footer. So if we set an ID of footer and then we set that to top. So now when the sticky element, let's say it's a sidebar, hits your footer, it's going to anchor to the top of the footer. It's going to stop being sticky at that point. So this is how you can create containers for your sticky components, and they'll uh, actually start and stop in the right place. So another cool thing that I want to point out is you notice that when this thing scrolls, that the height of the top bar is not changing once we hit the stickiness, the sticky uh, behavior. So you can see how that, that height change happens. Now I wanna show you how we achieve that. So there's a class being added to the sticky uh, element once it reaches the top of the viewport. Now that class is really useful because you can use that class to adjust your styles. So let's take a look at where we have that CSS. All right, so. There it is. So there's a class of is stuck that is being added to the sticky component as it reaches the top of the viewport. So this is really useful. If you want to target some CSS inside of is stuck, then you definitely can. So when this class is visible, is stuck, we're actually targeting our top bar and we're changing that padding. So right now we have a variable set to top bar sticky shrink padding. Um, we have a little transition on that. So, um, and then that variable is set to two rem. So it's basically, um, or sorry, uh, sticky shrink padding stuck is being set to one rem. So basically we're reducing the padding by 50%, uh, therefore changing the height of that top bar as it gets the is stuck class. So the is stuck class again is added to the data dash sticky. So it's it's just as if you had the class here. So if you had the class here, it would actually change. So this is the same thing that's happening when it hits the top of the viewport. So you can use that class to change the CSS of your elements inside really powerful, really cool. So that's it for the sticky component. Now we do teach this in the intro to foundation class. If you wanna learn foundation really fast, make sure you check that in the link below. And thanks for watching.